When we were doing kind of the research end of this project, we talked, we were talking a lot about casual spaces and um, how there's, you know, not as many task chairs, not as much assigned seating. There's, like, so many of the spaces we occupy are, are loungy. For us, it was about making those spaces function better. So how, how can these spaces that are very comfortable and very loungy and very informal, how can they be more productive? It's not just a poof at all. I mean, I think that only like the most basic version of it really is a poof. From there on out, it's something else. You know, it's a work seat. It's a collaborative seat. It, it rolls around. It's, it has a surface that, with an adjustable height feature that's a first of its kind. We worked with a manufacturing partner to create a custom lift that um, instead of being actuated with a lever and shoots upward like we're kind of used to, you free lift it very simply with your fingers and then it stays in place very rigid. And then whenever you want to lower it to whatever height, you just press the flush mount button on, on the surface. And, uh, and that was, you know, that made the tabletop so much more functional in our opinion um, and so much more predictable. We designed an integrated handle out of nautical rope that's actually attached to the frame and it's retractable. So when you want to use it, it pulls out, it's nice and generous, you can pick it up with two hands if you like and when it's not in use, it kind of snaps right back around the form and always looks neat and tidy. If you look at the, uh, the way that the, the chair and the work surface and the column and the casters all work together, they, they freely spin around each other creating a, a sensation of like an orbit. And the advantage of something like that is it, it makes the chair ambidextrous, but it also gives you a huge degree of um, adjustability so that it could fit all types of, of heights, all types of, of body types. The finger groove on the underside of the table so that you can grab the product by the tabletop and move it around is just like a nice little hidden detail that um, you don't realize until you actually get a chance to interact with the product. Avoiding plastics when possible, I think that's a big part of it. Making it so that at the end of the life of the product, materials can be separated for processing, that's also a huge part of it. And, uh, you know, working with materials like uh, bamboo. You know, the, the kind of base poof, I think, could live in between lounge chairs in a hotel lobby. Um, they could also live in and amongst kind of co-working spaces or corporate spaces that are kind of those casual areas and they're going to facilitate productivity in those spaces. You can scoot over to this group of people to, to talk about something briefly. If you want to do some solo work you can scoot away and find a quieter spot, put your table at the lowest level and you can work on a laptop. If you want to go find a quiet spot and you know do a Zoom or a webinar you can lift your table to the appropriate height so that you get a nice straight view. Um, and then if you want to, from, from kind of an impromptu point of view, if you want to have like a little meeting, if you want to present something, you can raise the table up and you can kind of use it to show whatever presentation then maybe on your laptop or, uh, or a tablet. So I see it functioning in, in actually a, a lot of spaces. Even in, within healthcare, I could see it in like a clinic, right? a clinic room, you know, the, the stool that the doctor cruises around in and the, like, the urgent care, um, one of these will work great for that.